So in this video, I'm going to show you how to trade up in Toilet Tower Defense. The reason I'm making this video is because I want to teach you guys how to make profit pretty easily, and also you guys wanted it. So anyways, let's get right into the video. So there are two levels of trading up. So the first level is low trading ups. This is where you're generally going to trade low value units and trade them up until you can get around a legendary. Once they're at a legendary, you're going to go to the second part, which is high value trading up. In this trading up strategy, you're going to make more profit, but it's going to be a little harder. So anyways, let's go over the first level. All right, so the first strategy, you generally want to have like three rares on you. If you don't have those, you might want to beg for some. They're pretty easy to beg for. So in this strategy, the goal is to trade your three rares or sometimes even two rares for an epic. And then once you get the epic, you want to trade it for four rares and continue. Once you have about five epics, you want to trade it for a legendary. So anyways, I'm going to show this in action to prove that it works. Alright, so this guy's an epic, so what we're going to do is we're going to offer a speaker helicopter, a TV man, and another speaker helicopter. That's three rares. And let's just press ready. And he'll do it for the camera helicopter. Okay. Okay, so we just did that. We got a camera helicopter, one of the best epics for just three rares. Now watch as we'll trade this for prop. Alright, so this guy has four rares. We're going to say let's trade our camera helicopter. And there we go. We just completed the trade. And now we can continue this process for trading three for an epic, trading the epic for four, and eventually we'll make tons of profit, and you'll be able to afford a legendary. And now once you afford the legendary, let's move on to the next trading strategy. So this next strategy is a lot like the past strategy, but it's a little more complicated. I like to call it the upgrading and downgrading strategy. So for example, let's say I have just this mech cameraman right here. So what I would like to do is I have this mech, and it's a high demand unit. So what does high demand mean? You might ask, well, high demand means more people want to trade for it. So high demand units generally get better offers and more overpays. So when you have a high demand unit, you want to be able to trade it for something that's an overpay. Now, how do you tell if it's an overpay? To tell if it's an overpay, I like to use a website called ttdvalues.com. And this list is not 100% accurate. Nowhere near 100% accurate. Because it doesn't factor in demand too well. It does factor it in, but not too well. So what I like to do is check the value. Like the coin value is what I use. Because that just factors value, not demand. And value basically means how rare is it and how much is it worth for being rare. So we're going to try to trade this mech for something more valuable. For example, a good trade for having a mech would be trading it for a scientist. A scientist is more valuable and out of game and is rising in demand and value. And now, if you don't have a high demand unit, let's say you have a Titan Speakerman. You're going to try to continue the strategy we just mentioned where you trade up and trade down and try to get this Titan speaker minute adds like a couple epics and trade them for a high demand unit like a mech. So now you have a high demand unit. You might have traded it for a scientist or something. And what you're going to want to do is trade the scientist for another high demand unit that's lower value, like another mech plus adds and continue the strategy of trading high demand for high demand. You know what I mean? Just continue this loop and eventually you'll be able to make profit. And how do you know? How do I know that you'll get good trades? Well, a lot of people like to trade not based on value, but based on what they need for grinding. So if someone really needs a scientist or a mech, because they're all pivotal for beating lots of modes, then you can get very good overpays. So yeah, those are two good strategies for trading, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.